Well, good morning. Uh, you haven't heard from me in a while. This is Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. And I'm coming back to kind of share with you where I've been, what planners I'm using, and all that good stuff. So I have a whole new filming setup. Not sure how this is going to work. It seems a little dark over here, so I think I'm going to have to bring in another light. And it actually seems a little wiggly too, <laughs> so I didn't get rid of my other desk either. I've just um, turned one uh, my oldest daughter's bedroom into studio, craft room, office kind of thing. I have a door that I can shut now, which is amazing. And so my other desk is still out with my furniture, and I do plan there every morning. But in here, I create. So I decided to turn my filming into here and maybe it would be easier for me to talk and and less distractions and Sully and Ollie can stay outside this room and my husband and it's just for me so I am going to tell you a little bit about what's been going on uh, let's see I hope you don't mind the chit chat but um, I'll be real quick I took off filming back hmm probably the last time I filmed was May I, I hope I did in May, I'm not sure, maybe it was even April. But uh, my oldest daughter, she is still in graduate school. She has one class left. She does have her master's degree, but she's still working on a certificate. And she got a job north of us, two hours away. So she had to spend all summer looking for some place to live. And it took months and months and months with all the stuff that's going <laughs> around in the world with, um, the real estate market, I'm sure some or most of you know how hard it is and how expensive things are now. And so it took a while, but she did finally find a little house and um, she has moved in in the beginning of August. So it took a while to do that, to get her settled, um, you know, just to change things up. And I didn't want to be filming and, and doing my thing because I knew I would just get stressed out and it wouldn't be fun because I would, when I was helping her, I'd be wanting to do this. And if I was doing this, I'd feel guilty I wasn't helping her. So I just stopped everything that was for me. Because I knew eventually, like today, I would have my own room and I would get to do my own thing. So we're finally here at this point. I'm not as far along <laughs> as I thought I'd be. My room is still only half done because I did used to have my creative area in the basement and I have to move all the stuff up here and I, I don't want honestly don't want all this stuff. I want to just get rid of it all and start fresh, but you know, can't do that. And then my youngest daughter just left for uh, college, which is also almost two hours away. Um, last week, yeah, her classes started just this past Wednesday, so I had to get by everything <laughs> for a dorm, move her up there, and that's been hard. Her room is staying her room because obviously she'll be coming back. But my first daughter lived at home when she went to college, so I didn't have that. But with her leaving um, and them both leaving at the same time, it's just like, wow. So it's taking a little bit of adjustment, and I still want to be there for them. And there's been plenty of phone calls and FaceTimes and, and things like that. So hopefully we can get through this video with uh, out that happening. And I see my camera's already falling. <laughs> Let me just adjust that. Luckily, I wasn't showing you anything yet. I wanted to show you the planners that I've been using since January, every single day, did not take a break from that. Um, the only thing in a disc bound line, I'm not even gonna say the Happy Planner because it's not all Happy Planner, um, is this, that is a vertical Happy Planner layout that I've been using for journaling since last year. So I think I started this last July maybe. This was like an 18 month planner. Yes. And so it goes through the end of 2021 and I still have the cover that I made myself and the charms that I had on there and you know all the stuff from the beginning. So um, I did do a flip through of January through what it would it have been March that's on the channel. Um, and so now I believe I also have filmed an April through June flip through. So I think that I should, I could put that up, I guess, if you want me to. But then after June, we already have, July's already gone and August is already gone and we are into September. So I'll just quickly show you what my September's been looking like. Um, one thing that 
did happen here. Let me move this other one away. Some of my decor from this page bled through, which I guess has been a thing that's been happening with Happy Planner lately. Um, this is an older planner though from 2020, so it's kind of weird that it happened then, but it's one of the reasons why I switched to these other planners that I'll be showing you in a, in a minute. But um, here's my calendar for September, and then I've just been minimally decorating it, but I have been journaling all this time. I mean, all of these in the past back here are all done too. But this is just this month, and then this is this week, today's the 9th. So I just um, <laughs> pulled out some old stickers. I didn't even decorate this until this morning, I think, or yesterday for this week, and it's kind of goofy. Um, you probably saw back on here, I'm having a, my first colonoscopy done on Monday. So I saw the popsicles because I have to go on a clear diet <laughs> on Sunday. So I thought we'll put some popsicles because that's what I will be eating. So um, that's what's happening this week. And I just journal in this the morning, in the morning at my other desk, my old desk. And um, I journal about the day before. So like this morning I wrote about yesterday. I do have a couple things in here about something that happened this morning and then something I have to go for a pre-COVID test tomorrow and I just wrote that in there. I hope this isn't shaking too much. I feel like everything is just out of whack. Okay, so that's just what I'm doing here and I just, you know, decorate week to week. I haven't even done next week yet, which I need to do. So there'll probably be a video coming up for that too. So let's move this one out of the way. That's one planner I use. And then I have been using this for my catch-all planner. Um, this is an Erin Condren planner, and this is their, do they call it a folio? Zippered folio, I think they call it. Let me just pull this out of here. Let's set that aside. This is one of their vegan leather covers. It doesn't come off, and it's spiral bound. Yes, I'm going from disc to spiral. I also have a ring planner in here, too, so a lot of different things going on and trying, and, you know, but that's the fun of, uh, being a planner, right? So this one, these never stay stuck. <laughs> this one we'll just go to this week and show you. Um, these were just some stickers that, what did I get? Oh, I got these bracelets, these bracelets from Pure Vida bracelets. And they sent me all these stickers. I think they're supposed to go on a water bottle or such, but I figured I needed something to decorate this week and uh, here it is. Okay, so this is what I do. I write down things that are happening in the days, bills that I do, the, you know, it's got everything in it, things I want to get done. And then this week I was using my color dot markers to only dot it when I get the task done. But this page has no dots on it because that hasn't happened yet. And then like here, I didn't do this yesterday, so I didn't put a dot on it. A lot of things I still have to do today. But that's how this is. It's a a week that looks like they're kind of horizontal. There's lines on the side and then it's blank here. So that's where I normally put my stickers. Then I write my bills down here and then I fill them in. But again, I've been doing this since January. So this whole thing is full, written in, used. So even though I haven't done videos, I have definitely done planning. I could not be without my planner. And then what I found out in my planning process is I was all fine writing things down that were going to happen, appointments or events or, you know, um, when I do laundry, when I, you know, clean the house, that kind of stuff. But then I was also finding that I was making a to-do list on the side. At first I was using micros for that uh, when I was strictly happy planner, but then I thought, you know, I think I need a daily planner. So then I tried some other products and then Erin Condren came out with an A5 planner. And so I bought one of those. Now these only come in six months. It's two books of for a year. And um, I've only been in this since July. <laughs> and I do have like some stickers and stuff in the back. So that does make it thick. But if we take the two things off that have stickers in it and hold this, look at how bulky this has already gotten in what? Four months, July, August, three months and not even all of September. So. <laughs> I don't know about these books. That's one thing with uh, the coil, you can't take pages out. And that's why I like the disc, because I could easily make this thinner, but I can't do that because it's on coil. 
So for September now, um, I use the calendar, not as much as I use it in there. I didn't show that, I don't think, no. Um, hold on one second, see if I can grab this. The comparison of my catch-all September planner, it's got more things on it than my daily planner. Some are duplicates, some are, are other things, like I don't put bills in this one, but I do put bills in that one. And then the weeks, I shouldn't say the weeks, the days. This is, I've been using this for, um, to keep record of my sleep hours and my steps. And then this is their currently page and I just put things I wanna buy, goals for the month, events that are happening this month, and then I do my little currently down here. And yes, these are Happy Planner stickers. But then I have been playing around with making stickers. I bought some printables off of Etsy, these little weathers, and then this one and this one too and and um, some other things I made the the days of the week up here but um, yeah so this is kind of messy but it's got my to-do list plus then it's got an hourly um, I went to using the hourly which I'm surprised I do but I have um, and then I've been making my own stickers like I said trying to make sticker kits and stuff um, and I I don't know if I'm gonna sell them. I've been thinking about opening a Patreon and having um, you get those for certain tiers that you belong to. You would receive a sticker kit or stickers. Don't know, a lot of things in the work. Well, today is Thursday and I have my list of things here. Um, I don't know if I've even done any of this yet. And I spelled this wrong. <laughs> wow, the only thing I do is I'm filming right now. That's the only thing I can check off. That's not too great. Wow. Oh, no, wait, I did clean up the kitchen. Okay, so um, I haven't been using any type of planner for my business either. Um, I'm sure you know by the name of the channel, Periwinkle Planner Co. Uh, that's the same name as our Etsy store and we sell the plastic covers, which I don't even have one right here to show you. My goodness. The plastic covers for the disbound. Well, you can go back in previous videos again if you want to see what they are or just go to our um, Etsy store and see them too. I did all this stuff too. These, I mean, see, there's still so much going on that I'm like, ugh, you know? <laughs> That's why I need a daily planner because my head is just like, oh, there's things. Anyway, um, so for my daily planner, I just record the weather for the day and then I record my morning routine and then things I have going on that are time, time specific and then I write down my to-do list here. Um, I haven't been doing my, I think I said this already, but I haven't been doing my um, a business planner. So down here, I've just been writing my stats, YouTube and Instagram stats or actually the way around Instagram and YouTube stats. And if there is anything, um, that I do do for there. I think I usually divide it. I started dividing it before, like back here when I was doing, when I was working. What month is this? Not August. I don't even know if I worked at all in July. Oh, here, like this first July 5th. I had home tasks and then I had my work tasks, so I di um, divided it like that. But have not been dividing it lately. I just, when I work, do my orders on Mondays, I just write that in here. Oh, it's Labor Day, so there's no orders that Monday. Where's the next Monday? All the way back here. Oh, working orders. See, I worked on orders all the way up till one o'clock that day, but that's that's what I've been doing, and I leave myself other little notes and stickers, and every day is different in this planner which is kind of fun you can do it however you want as much as you want no stickers all stickers whatever you want to do but this is really my planner that keeps me going and keeps everything on track so then of course i had to try yet another planner erin condren also came out with this size this a5 size but in a ring bound planner now I ordered the horizontal one to use as a journal just because I liked their uh, called flora layout. It has flowers like this on it. And they accidentally sent me the daily planner just for 
what is it, September through December. So I thought that I would start kind of playing with that and see if I like that better than having this big bulky thing. So what I did was I took this um, old cover that I had purchased off of Etsy that I had been using for my Dispon planner, my half letter Dispon planner that I had made. And I actually stuck, I bought a set of rings and um, I didn't know what I was purchasing. And I bought this really, really small set of rings that doesn't even fit the whole size. So I had to take these inserts that look like this with hole punched and I had to repunch them as you can see here. Now it's not the prettiest thing, plus this was too short, so then I ended up punching out a little uh, disc bomb punch up here so that it would lay correctly in here. So, uh, how can I show you? The little pop out thing is in here <laughs> and it, it's a mess, but I started playing around with it and I liked it because I could take out the pages. Do I have a haircut that I can take out? Let me see. So you can actually cut them. I'm trying to find one that I did cut because I don't want to rip it here. Which ones are cut? Any of these? I just took one out. Oh, this one is. If you cut them, you can actually use this like a disc bound if you just cut the, the ring. So that is what I'm going to do. And except I bought now the correct one and I bought some material to make my own binder cover. That hasn't come yet, but I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna try, because I have this extra until December, um, one that is punched correctly that does fit into these holes, see? I'm gonna redo that and try that, I think, for this daily planning. But some of these stickers I have been making, like I drew this and I drew this and I've been trying out different papers. Um, I just dropped them on the floor. I'm trying out making different types of kits. These obviously I've used in here to, to see how they fit. And I made boxes. And um, this is clear. This I had one sample of this type of uh, sticker paper and it is so beautiful. Look how it's clear like that. And it's kind of frosted and it's just beautiful when you put it on the page. I've used I've used that one there, and I've used, I've only tried this for a couple days. Oops, did I use one in here? Oh, I guess I didn't use one in here. Oh, sorry, there's one. There we go. I use this one, and I use this one in here. And I think it's, they're really pretty. These I've made too big, so I have to rework that. And I don't know if I ex exactly like this, if it's just too much white around it, so I might rework that. And I was working on this for a weather for a weather sticker, but I did get my boxes right, but that's probably because I've used them forever in the Happy Planner. But I think that periwinkle is going to be a little scallop, and that's going to make us different because my headers are going to be scalloped, and that will make periwinkle stand out. And I also made a new logo because I'm kind of rebranding right here. I think you can see that because um, this. Periwinkle started out with me and my daughter, and now she she is um, moved away. So Periwinkle is just me. So I thought I'd rebrand a little bit and um, change things up. So I guess that tells you where I am right now, and um, we will go from there. So I'm going to be doing some plan with me's on the channel. So I hope you'll come back and watch those, and I hope you'll subscribe because. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers and once I do then I can finally after geez what's it been two three years of making these videos I can finally be monetized and that will really help out so until next time bye bye